You are the chosen one. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be starting on my next East game. This is the Super Nintendo port of East 4. It's also known as Mask of the Sun to differentiate it from the other version, which is Dawn of East. Um, both names. Both games are rather similar in some ways. They share plot elements. Oh, they have to share a really good soundtrack. This version being on the Super Nintendo means that it has the great Super Nintendo soundtrack. As he listened to the sound of the calm waves, his fiery red hair swayed in the gentle sea breeze. The light glistening on the waves was reflected beautifully in his darkly gleaming eyes. Even though they're closed. With his adventure in hysteria finally ended, Adal stood alone on Whitehorn Beach, recalling the long days of battle. A little bit of dark fact there. Dark fact, the descendant of a priest was the cause of it all. Well, half of it. And Darm, who became the evil ringleader out of his human desires. Chopped in half Odin style. Turning around, he put the past behind him. Long ago, the utopian country of East was a glorious place. And there's the Black Pearl, and there are the six priests. But even this country, blessed by the two goddesses and the six priests, was covered in darkness by a power of the Black Pearl. And there's Rhea and Fina. Did Fina and Le Rhea know what it, it would come to this? Great translation. Little th it's actually a fan translation. But little things there aren't the version that I prefer. But, you know, that's just being picky. Because I can actually read the text. Otto watched the waves crashing on the beach as he thought about the goddesses. Including the one that totally digged him. Until they just went off to an unspecified location. And what's this? Huh, what's that? There was a letter inside the bottle. Unfortunately, Otto didn't know the language in which it was written. Maybe the poet, Luda, will be able to read it. Also, does anyone else this music remind them of Final Fight for some reason? This music is definitely Celsetan. It says, Great Hero, please save Celsetta. Someone in Salsetta is pleading for help. Otto decided to answer the call from that small bottle and headed for Salsetta. The land way across the sea, where some flowers are. There's a picture of a mysterious girl that we'll meet soon enough. And so, Otto's adventure begins once again. East, Mask of the Sun. This game actually takes place immediately following East 1 and 2, therefore making it really the game I probably should have done next, but eh, I'm fine with that. Just double checking out all the controls, you can change them to whatever you want. Um, in fact, let's see, magic, item, I wish you could just change them to whatever you wanted though, they only have three control schemes, but that's fine. Uh, screensavers kind of weird, but also unnecessary. Stereo mono, that's perfectly normal message speed. None of this really needs to going over. But, let's start off. It'll be very obvious this is starting after 1 and 2. Otto, are you really going already? Leaving stereo without telling anyone? Well, I understand that you do can't stay. I mean, you better go before Lilia comes. If you try 
try and go and tell Lilia, like a decent person. Oi, Adel! You going into town? You'll have problems if Lilia sees you, because you can't go back now. Here, just go. And he shows you back. Talk to people by bumping into them? Oh, this boat goes to Promarok. Want, if you want to go to Salsetta, just go across the land from there. Well, any gr a great boat? So saying that, it's not mine. Promarok, by the way, is actually where Adel first set sail to Asteria from. Also, the menu screen is off of Select, which is weird. But we can take a look at items. Right now, all we have is a letter and a bottle. Equipped, we have nothing. Come on, Adel, can't you keep, like, the Tall War or something? Take a look at his stats. We can save, we can load, we can go back to that same options screen. It's nothing too fancy. Or we can just get on the boat. And they take the little blank back in. Well, good luck then. Or, well, good luck then. Since that's Dogi. Probably not doing his voice right. Oi, hold on there. What? Oh, well, if it isn't Flair. Don't startle us. He's the doctor, by the way. Phew. Sorry, sorry. I was almost too late. I'm coming along with you. In Salsetta, there's a special flower. I want to develop a cure-all medicine from it. Well, let's be off. Dr. Flair, of course, was from East One. He's the guy who nursed you back to health. This also, just to let you know, is based on an earlier version of East Canon, meaning that in the original East, there was no Barbados. Adeline Flair's ship crossed the Derail Sea, seeking out the port town of Promorock. Adel, I heard this on the ship. There's a group of traders on the south side. I'm going to see if we can hitch a ride. So, he walks off, and we can now move around. We can check out the town. None of the shops are open, and we don't have any money anyway, so we can't buy anything from them. But at least we can take a look around as we have control, and it won't be wrenched from us too terribly often. Can't walk off screen this way, which is kind of weird. Weird door opening sound effect. Busy, I'm busy. Well, I'm busy. So busy. I'm busy. Don't get in my way. Oh, you're alive. So you went to East and defeated monsters in some tower called Darm? That time you drifted ashore here, you were beat up bad. Vixen and Norton helped you back then. Anyway, those two wanted to see you. How about going to meet them? Norton is a character from the anime. As though the anime had been released and in didn't include Barbados, it was the first place that Slagf appeared. Or Slaff, as he's more recently called now. This is the port town of Promorok. This is more classic ERPG other games. Oh, if it isn't Adel. It's me, Norton! Oh, he's got back in one piece all right. Let's take a quick cutaway and take a look at how Norton looked in the anime. Uh, excuse me, are you Mr. Norton? Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name is Adel Kristen, Mr. Norton. I'm glad you're here. You see, the owner of this place said that you were the one who could answer my questions about Asteria. You want to know about Asteria? Why? Why would you want to know about a place like that? Well, because I want to go there. You're kidding me, right? You must be. You think this is some kind of joke? I'm dead serious! I want to go to Asteria! Hold on, calm down, all right? Look, I don't know why you want to go there, and I don't care. There's no way for you to get there. I don't know of a single boat that'll go anywhere near the place. Huh? But why not? Young man, you've got a lot to learn. Once I get through telling you what I know about that place, you just might change your mind about wanting to go there. Well, time to go to work. Oh, right. This bag has to be loaded onto that boat, so get to work. Just one bag, Mr. Norton? Is that all? I gave you an order, young man. Now get to it. Yes, sir. Good work, Otto. As of today, you're fired. Huh? Now then, about this boat. It's yours now. And you've just loaded everything you're going to need for your trip. For my... Thank you, Mr. Norton. The sea is amazingly calm today, and the weather's fine. If all goes well, you should get across with no trouble. Thanks again, sir. I guess this is goodbye, then.
looking good. So far, there's been no sign of a storm. At this rate, I'll get to Asteria in no time. Pretty cool guy, huh? I could see the light from the evil tower from here. How about a drink at Father Vixen's place? Oh, it's still daytime. Well, anyway, Vixen wants to see you too. So this isn't actually where Otto is from, but it is the last place he visited before Asteria. Where exactly he's from hasn't been stated yet, just some vague hinting. Which is good enough for me. So this is an inn, obviously. Just bump into him. Oh, Otto, good to know you're well. Well then, sit down. Otto, there's plenty of things I need to hear from you. Don't go back till you told me. And so we tell him the story of Hysteria. For some reason, this part goes slowly, even if you set the tech speed high. The three talked for hours. Lots of hours. Eh, Adel, you're going to Salsetta? You really must like dangerous places. Lately, there have been strange rumors about that place. Right, Norton? Yeah. I heard a rumor that the Roman Empire wants Salsetta. Any talk of them building forts in the country borders makes me suspicious. But I'm not one to ask you to stay. Right, we'll see you off. Don't know who that guy is? Hey, Otto, we've come to an agreement. This traveling salesman is going to Salsetta. With you as protection, and me as a doctor, it seems best for him if we go along. Well then, do you have any preparations to make on the journey? Understood, I'll be waiting here. Come right back. So, not really a whole lot we can still do. One interesting thing, this keeps the East, well, it, it is part of where the East aesthetic come from, of uh, having a town with action of houses for its inhabitants. Ten gold will teach you something good. Well, you haven't got enough money. Well, okay, as you're so cool, I'll tell you something special. Listen carefully. By equipping the swords Thunder, Ice, Flame, Hero, and Violent Light, you can use different spells. Remember it well. Yeah, so there's kind of a huge spoiler for the rest of the game. I wonder if they put that in there in the translation. I guess we'll never know. Just checking through a couple more locked doors. Or not locked. I haven't seen you before. The one here is famous. How about trying some? Nice people here. There's the weapon shop. We don't have any money, though. Well, I wonder what item I should carry this time. Hysteria became peaceful. There's suddenly no trade. Hey, do you know what information... Do you know that information vendor called Durin? No. Is that right? Apparently he sells you information. That I would never have guessed. Not on my own. I'll tell you something good. Some monsters have strong poison inside them. You need to be especially careful in the forest. If you ever get poison, you can cure it with an antidote. Well, that's good to know. There are slime-type enemies that do that, and it's very annoying. Here's our weapon armor shop. Awesome music, isn't it? It also has weird loading times. Since the car doesn't really need to. I really like walking! How informative. I heard the piece came to Hysteria. It's locked. It's locked. It's still locked. So as you can imagine, there's really not anything interesting to do in this town yet. We can come back later, make some cash, trade some stuff. There's a place we just were. But as it is, there's really nothing useful to do in Promorok. So, might as well leave Promorok for now. Which we will do after a brief cut. I think I'll show off a little bit more of Promorok proper. So that's the port of Promorock. Great!
Hello. Oh, good morning. That it is. What? So now that that's all taken care of, everything is okay. Let's go. Let's go then, Otto. Otto politely nods. Take care. Visit again sometime. They ride off. 